The Menu is a 2022 American black comedy horror film directed by Mark Mylod and was produced by Adam McKay and Will Ferrell. It features an ensemble cast that includes Ray Fiennes as a celebrity chef and has Anya Taylor-Joy, Nicholas Holt, and John Leguizamo who play diners who attend this exclusive restaurant on this private island. Food enthusiast Tyler, played by Nicholas Holt, and his date uh, Margot, played by Anya Taylor-Joy, travel by boat to Hawthorne, an exclusive restaurant owned and operated by celebrity chef Julian Slowick, played by Ray Fiennes, located on a private island. Here, they're given a tour by one of the assistant cooks who show the celebrities and other rich elite people that are there, the island, and then they're taken to the restaurant where they're locked in. And from there, they go through the courses that are provided by the cooks and that are introduced by the celebrity chef, Julian. And as the night unfolds, weird things start to happen and insane things start to happen and the guests soon realize that they have been invited to their death. They're basically going to die in this kind of suicide, mass suicide event with the main chef killing himself and all of his cooks killing himself in this great fire that we see at the end of the film. And we also learn that Anya Taylor-Joy, who, who was invited to this event by this dude, Tyler, uh, is an escort and Tyler is a psychopath in a way who's a food enthusiast who's a big fanboy of the celebrity chef who realizes beforehand that yeah that in this invitation he's gonna die but he doesn't care he just wants to be around the celebrity chef and we see that uh we see that he's a completely nut job character and that anya taylor joy is is not supposed to be there as she's actually pulled aside by uh, julian and, and he's told he tells her that hey you're not supposed to be part of this suicide event we're all gonna die you're not supposed to be here and she and the rest of the guests try to plot in uh in a way t of trying to escape from the restaurant and from the island there's actually a scene in the film where the male guests are all given this chance to escape but it's uh useless because of the fact that they're on this uh, this very much private island that they're that they know all the hiding spots too so all of his assistant cooks go out and they capture all the guests and bring them back to the restaurant and everybody is trying their best to get the get the heck out of there trying to stay alive and we see this unfold throughout the movie and at the end only anya taylor joy pulling off this very clever trick actually survives as um as ray fine's character just burns the whole place down in a massive fire and everybody dies and she escapes and that's the movie for you it this movie is in the category of horror films which i call dinner party horror films it's in a, in which there's an event there's a mansion where there's a rich host who invites a group of people uh, whether or not they're elites or they're poor people to this event in which there is a trap or it's a sadistic game i've seen this before in other films actually this while i was watching this, this movie i was reminded of a shittier horror film called would you rather who has a main who's actually the main actor in that movie is the actor from reanimator i'm gonna throw up his name and he invites all these very desperate people that uh to his mansion where he slowly kills them off and the main protagonist this lady at the end survives because she's clever and she knows how to survive in a, in a very unique way and whatever and blah 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 and it's it's a very terrible movie but it reminded me a lot of this film there's a lot of things that uh that are pr there's a lot of elements that are present in both films that i've seen before there's also other shitty horror films that i've seen within this genre who have really pulled off the same things but in a very terrible way whereas this movie is actually does pretty well it's well made well directed well edited the performances from anya taylor joy nicholas holt are fine they're okay but here's the thing ray finds a british actor trying to pull off an american accent is distracting throughout the film every time he introduces the meals every time he's having a deep conversation with somebody i can hear his british accent coming through and it, I, I, I don't know if it's like because of the coaching that's necessary for the actors or because he's old. I don't know why, but I kept hearing his British accent come through and him sort of pulling off this really poor job of doing a sort of Midwest accent. And that was really a big distraction for me. I don't know anybody in the comment section down below. Let me know if that was a distraction for you, but 
it was really bad for me. I mean, everybody else was okay, but he, I don't know what was going on. It was not that good. John Leguizamo is also in this movie. He plays an actor, and the, I think, actor who does comedy sketches for Comedy Central was in this film. He's fine. Both of them are just okay. It's mostly focused on Anya Taylor-Joy and Nicholas Holt, and their performances are the standout performances of the movie, I think. And they did a fine enough job. I think Nicholas Holt playing this psychopathic fanboy, he does okay. He's alright. And uh, Anya Taylor-Joy, she's doing a good enough job just being this American girl. <laughs> you know, when she's British, pulling off that accent. She's doing a good enough performance. And yeah, I would say, if I would have to g g g say one thing in a, in a kind of... Uh, sentence for this film. I would say this movie is a recycled horse flick that is okay. It's fine. There's nothing that stands out about this movie. There's nothing memorable about this movie. The social commentary in this film of classism. I've seen this before in other movies and other horror films. Usually this genre deals with this type of social commentary on classism. And my friend actually pointed that out when I ta talked to him about this film. Who he, re he also recently seen this film. And he said, yeah, this is a movie that really goes into those types of themes and that type of social commentary but i've seen this before a lot of other horror films that are in this genre hit you over the hammer with that type of theme and they're not very good this one at least pulls it off but that's that's all i can say is it pulls it off oak in an okay manner it doesn't it's not spectacular in, in any way the I don't know the the way that the movie unfolds actually is pretty predictable i knew this was all going to happen one of the scenes anya taylor joy is actually able to contact the coast guard to come and save them and up uh, of course the guy who comes is in on it on the scheme they figure that out i've seen that before it's recycled 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 <laughs> i've seen this before and it doesn't stand out to me i'm thinking i knew that was going to happen I knew she was going to be the only survivor at the end of the film. I knew they were going to all, all going to die. There was no escape for them. Okay, there there we go. She eats a hamburger at the end of the film. That there we go. She's on a boat. You know, what am I what am, what am I what am I supposed to say? The 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 thing that I'm actually kind of confused is the amount of positive reviews that are of this movie. So I, the way that I found out about this movie is through one of my favorite film review channels, Red Letter Media. Mike Stoklasa actually recommended this film and so did jay bomham they were talking about it and they said oh this is really great this is really uh fascinating and i didn't go into spoilers but seeing them actually give a positive review i'm i'm not surprised but at the same time i'm, I'm not seeing it as a really good movie i don't know if i could just recommend this as the best horror film of 2022 because it's okay it's fine it does its job you know and i what am i what what am i supposed to say that the directing or the cinematography was great it was it was okay it was all right and these type of these type of horror films these survival dinner party horror film usually has all these elements that are are all combined together to make this type of story in a way that can be repeated over and over again we've seen this in the past it will continue in the future with only different um, aspects of these movies being altered in a way um, so yeah I, I can't I can't really say this movie st stood out to me there's so many scenes in this movie that I've seen uh, in other films that have been present in other films that have been copied and brought into here in the, this film and and what am I supposed to what am I supposed to kind of congratulate this movie on on doing a decent enough job it's okay. It's fine. I really don't understand why people are, are giving this film such positive reviews. Ray Fine's American accent was really bad. I don't know why they had him do that. I wish he could have just acted as a British actor, but him pulling off an American accent was really the distracting part of the movie for me. And I don't know. It's just maybe he needs more coaching on this. I, I really don't know. But yeah, overall, this movie uh comes off as as a decently competently made horror film but nothing that stands out that it's within that ca a category that i invented the dinner party horror film i invented it me <laughs> no i'm just kidding but no i there's yeah i i can't really say much more about this film i've seen a lot of aspects of it in other films so yeah it, it's okay it's okay it's recycled <laughs> 
that's all I could say about this film. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it more than I do. And also leave a comment in the comment section down, uh, down below where I'm wrong. Just let me know uh, what I'm not seeing. I should probably rewatch this. There's probably better elements in this film that I'm not that I'm overlooking. So let me know in the comment section down below. I uh, hope you guys uh, ha all have a wonderful day, like always. So yeah, take it easy, everybody.